Hello again, welcome back once again. I know I usually do Fallout on Fridays, but I don't get some Freeform Friday stuff. I put that on Fridays, it's Freeform. So, Fallout 4, continue around. I'm not really highlighting a mod, just more of a little bit of a bragging session. I'm heading to Oberlin Station. Oberlin Station I found to be too small to do a lot with. So, I cleaned everybody out, and I started rebuilding. I found... I found the building roof, the ceiling, to be a little short as well. There it comes in. I was trying to do kind of a ten pennies tower. And I did a four penny tower because it's like four stories tall on the inside. <clears throat> but yeah, I used vault parts and concrete and everything at my disposal for my Oberlin station. <laughs> now, I tried to build it wide enough and high enough. Don't know if I got got it tall enough, high up, high up enough there, so that if the rail line, bleh, so if the rail lines ever got going again, trains could come through, or you know, more likely raiders get one of the cars running and instead of it flying down, there wouldn't be a gate and things here for it to go crashing through. So instead, free overnight beds for all merchants and guards, secure camping space for all others few remnants of the early startup. Really should stick somebody in there just for aesthetics. And to get in, you've got to come in here. So any raiders, super units, anybody has to come in through here and come in through all this. Doesn't look like a lot, but they've yet to be able to do it yet. Yeah. Hey, what's up, scavenger? My back hurts. My feet hurt. Everything hurts. Everything yep. Hurts. I gotta get you some glasses. Now coming in to check in at the front desk. A little extra security. And here is the merchant zone. I had to add more stuff on shelves and that kind of thing, but got all the basic shops in. Some displays of what's available. You can of course have customized work done. Shelves are slowly starting to get stocked. It's nice. The recreation and dining area for everybody, whether they're residents or not. You know, if you need medical medical scene too, you can get checkups, you can get your eyes checked, get surgery to patch things up. Why everybody's not at their stations, I'm not sure, but so be it. Yes. And you've just gotta de stress, relax a little. You should know. People have been complaining about the bed situation beds again. What, more of y'all invite some friends to stay? You know, get a good workout on, or if you just want to relax, you can gamble or play, just play some relaxing games. And if you stop in for emergencies, got that too. Now, did mention Yes? You know, space for everyone, Look bed space and all. No, no trouble. You get deradiated, got an emergency stop, a little extra under, underneath security. Why are you stuck down here again? Could never get the big tree out. So I just built onto it. Place for Brahmin and the Traveler's Rest. Supposed to be a Traveler's Rest Pit. I forgot to put the other one on. Yeah. You can come in, tie off, deposit your Brahmins, drop your loads. And just if you work, you eat. Relax and have a nice free place to sleep in safety. Almost like being in an armored vault. But with more guns. Huh? Now I was noticing I needed to add more lights, but that's to the elevator. She has of course functions. And they provided it. Why wouldn't it? Coming up, got all manner of residential, a little bit of personal farming. Gonna need more stuff stocking in. The barber's up here. Gotta put more work into the individual residencies. Securities housing there. Oh, and that gate, that's controlled up here by the guards. See it open it up. Now your caravans can come and go with ease or close it up at night. So nothing's going to get in at you and your Brahmin. 
At least not without going through security. But heading upstairs. Nice. Top atrium area. All right, inside basketball court. I really need to improve that. Got a cleaner one now. I need to replace it. My scavenger's room. Kind of my goal for all of them along the, down the line. Really? Put a table knife in there. Okay. Randomly having things materialize and stuff. But there's plenty of folks, so I need to put in more beds again, apparently. Ah, I thought I was further along on this. Basically, the building manager's office and bedroom. I managed to click in a variety of pieces. Putting the overseas window in here just made it... You couldn't see out through it. It was really annoying. They didn't do a nice, clear one. You know this if you played. It's really, really dirty. Yeah, I see the awesome through there, but hmm, you know, like some of the new stuff to really put in your quality lavatory facilities. It's even got toilet paper. Stole that junk from the institute. Coming up, so space I haven't fully used yet. Now, and there's a reason. There is two doors up here. One, the farming. Now, there are paths the farmers get up here with pain in the butt sometimes, but not they live on the upper floor. They get up here and farms it just fine. Farms it, farms it. Yeah, my speech is just off. And yes, when I get raiders come around the outside, coming this side, these turrets will engage. It's really nice. Farms not much, but it's something. Rooftop gardening at its finest. This is more or less for, for my access and maintenance. Maybe they'll come up here, but... Don't really get in the way. They can't get dropped down in there, but I haven't had a problem with one for quite a while. Where's my doors? I took out my bloody doors. Do you believe that crap? Get up here. Back down. Yeah, all the way up here, wacky way, through the maze to get there. There's the power generator for the place. <laughs> now let's go back up again. I don't know I answer the columns supporting everything from down below. And the tree still poking through up here. Wish we could get rid of that. Got this way, nice little little ledge area. If they come attacking up through there, yes, I can snipe down and take guys out. Although my favorite is usually just to throw some grenades. Ah, I see the gunner's not on his station again. It's all right. We have roof-mounted artillery. We can support any members of the Minutemen or the Brotherhood of Steel that call for fire support within range. It's just real nice when they're engaging superhumans over there. Darn, that went a lot faster than I expected. Ah, something's more work than I expected. But the bones are here. The outer shell needs a lot more light. But you get the thought idea. You get to see, see you know, what I'm putting together. So. Oh, and... Those arching parts from the vault, the arching atrium roof, technically pushes through the building cap. So, it's also part of why I went with them. I couldn't get much higher. I couldn't get proper roofs and everything on to have another living space level above. So, I went with that instead. It'll clip on and things will go, and it would go in. That's also why there's no lights or anything up there. I can't. It's above the ceiling but that's my little work in progress for a 10 penny tower per se in the commonwealth 
I've been really been thinking about putting some trying to put some sort of door on here so I can close this up too, but I mean, really, why block them out when you can just let them try and push through and keep dying? But with that, let me know what you think. My little safe trading spot in the middle of the routes of the Commonwealth. Wasting water. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. Hit like, dislike, subscribe if you haven't already. If you have, you have a notification, you want to, go ahead. That way YouTube will care to let you know. Really? Queuing up for the free so sodas? Free stuff, I tell you. <sighs> More importantly than any of it, though. If there is someone, something out there, important to you, whether it's up and out, face to face, or from behind the safety of your terminal, or just picking up the phone and saying hello. Get involved, make a difference. Be someone that matters in what matters to you and with whom matters to you. Take care and stay safe. And I am the Articulate Grunt. And until next time, next episode, which one I hope to see you then, I'm out from here.